Hi there, and welcome back. Everyone, this is Quest for You, my little podcast to help you be inspired for the day ahead. Can someone please tell me why people don't speak up? They're unhappy with their food. They had a negative experience at the hotel they stayed at. Or they don't like the product that they bought. But people don't speak up. They don't say anything. Instead, they come to us. They complain. They tell us how horrible it was. And when we ask if they said anything, the answer is usually no. Or they vent online, which is easiest. And where we can read all their long paragraphs about how unhappy they are. I often read restaurant reviews before I book a reservation, and sometimes I read about the worst experiences people have had. Open Table always sends me a request for feedback after I dined at a certain restaurant that I booked through them. And mostly, I really don't have anything groundbreaking to share. Small things like waiting for the waiter a little longer than normal are probably not worth calling the manager about. But one day I was eating with a big group, and for some reason, the tray that holds the dirty dishes was along the wall, right behind our table. So every few minutes, there would be this loud crashing sound of dirty dishes being dumped into the tray. It was quite a disruption to our conversation, which was already hard to hear for some because we were a big group seated on a long table. So in my review, I suggested for the tray to be placed further back, towards the kitchen. And the restaurant responded the next day, thanking me for this idea and telling me that this was easily doable. Now, I probably could have shared it that night and they could have remedied the situation right away. Instead, I posted a review that may now deter others from going there when they read it, which in turn will hurt the business. Our inability to speak up hurts others, but mostly it hurts ourselves. If we don't share what's important to us, that means we don't stand up for ourselves. And consequently, we don't get to live the experiences that we deserve. Oprah said it well in this quote, You get in life what you have the courage to ask for. I like this. So we go home after a mediocre meal that we paid a fortune for, unhappy and resentful. Who lost out? We did. We don't speak up because, and this is what I think, we want to avoid the conflict. Human beings don't like conflict. That's just how we're wired. We want to fit in, so we do everything not to stir the pot. At least most of us. We are experts at writing long, angry reviews, eloquent and expressive, making sure everyone gets the point that we're making. But when it comes to speaking up to someone in person, we often don't know what to say, because we don't practice it. We don't know what words to use. Afraid to offend someone, we remain silent. When we swallow our words, we keep quiet. And internally, this builds up resentment and frustration towards others and towards ourselves. Much of the resentment comes from wrong assumptions. We talked about assumptions in recent episodes. They consume so much of our energy and are often wrong. If we instead speak up more often, we not only relieve that pressure of being heard, but we also find out the truth. Most people don't intend harm and will do anything possible to correct the situation. Speaking up is the quickest route to resolution. It's the most authentic and honest way I can think of, because wounds tend to fester and only get worse if we don't attend to them. But by sharing what's important to you, you speak your truth and you allow others to speak theirs. You remove all that mental clutter you remove all that mental chatter that clutters your mind. Making assumptions, building up expectations, feelings of frustration and anger when those aren't met. By not saying how we feel, we damage the relationship with others and with ourselves. We carry resentment towards people because they didn't do something that we hoped for. We don't go back to restaurants and other service providers because they messed up. This does not only hurt them, but it also hurts us. It limits our freedom to enjoy life. Have you ever been with people that have constant complaints about this and that? This restaurant that they won't go to because it's not good. That person that they don't get along with. And that store that they don't frequent 
because it's too expensive or the checkout is too slow. Or they don't like the coffee at that place that you want to go to. And so on. So many limitations. They don't realize they are hurting themselves. And you speak your truth. You learn how to build self-worth and self-respect. You're honoring yourself. It comes from a place of self-love. You're standing up for the things that are important to you. You show that you're not willing to settle for less. And you don't worry whether or not people will like what you have to say. You focus this on making it right. I like this quote by Dr. Seuss. Be who you are and say what you feel. Because those who mind don't matter. And those who matter don't mind. When you speak up, you will know which people care and will make it right and which people will get defensive and upset. And you can't control how people will react. You can only control how you speak up. Speaking your truth doesn't mean just to say anything and however it comes to mind. It requires that you come from a place of respect for the other person. You can say whatever you need to say as long as it's with respect. Don't blame, don't be angry, but say it with the utmost respect. Here's what happened and I would love to hear what your solution would be. I would be grateful if you could help me out. I'd like to give you a good tip, but I need your help in correcting this. There are many ways to express dissatisfaction that remain professional and genuine without the added emotional charge that we so often observe when people don't know how to express themselves. If you feel it's important, then speak up. Speak your truth and share your opinions. If you want to contribute in a meaningful way, then you need to say something. It does take courage to speak up. But the more you do it, the better you will get. And when people see your true feelings behind your words, how important it is for you and that you care, then they will honor you just like you honor yourself in being honest. They will try to make things right. It has happened to me over and over again. Sometimes it even requires that small extra step of speaking up for other people to get to know you better. This quote from Monica Lewinsky, let's acknowledge the difference between speaking up with intention and speaking up for attention. I was recently at my favorite coffee place again and had to use the restroom. Sorry, this is not the best example, but it's the one that came to mind. The toilet was flooded when I walked in. And my first inclination was just to walk back out and don't say anything. This place is really close to my house, so I could have just gone home into my own restroom. But then I decided it's not right. It's my favorite place to eat, drink coffee, and work. I have a relationship with that place and the people there, and I don't want it to be strained by anything, even by something as insignificant as a malfunctioning bathroom. So I said something to the girl at the counter who's always there in the mornings and makes my coffee. Previously, she never much talked to me. Well, since that incident with the toilet, which was also a little funny at the time, and the way I told it to her, she asks me now every time how I'm doing, and she makes small talk with me. Something as simple as speaking up about something that affected me and others has improved my relationship with that restaurant. I often find the same happens at work. When people get together and solve a problem, it creates bonding and adds substance to a previously potentially platonic relationship. When I see something at work that needs fixing, people initially get defensive, but when I call a meeting, when I explain my reasoning for why I'm addressing the situation, it's amazing how many ideas come out of people and how much everyone wants to contribute to making it better. So when you honor the relationship with yourself, you're also honoring the one with the people around you. And in fact, every other relationship you have depends first on the one you have with yourself. So my encouragement today for you, learn to speak up. If you're uncomfortable speaking up, then you can start practicing on small things that are insignificant. Maybe even making it up asking for more cream, asking for some extra water. You can ask for small things that are important to you. And with that, you'll build up a little bit more confidence when it's time to ask for the bigger things. 
I hope this was helpful for you. Much love and have an amazing day. And don't forget, speak up. <laughs>